right, coming up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes these martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gainbred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. You want to fight? Get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Masvidal is four years his senior. Adesanya will have a six-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gainbred Masvidal! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fight. Kick may not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 
I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Nice stick with the right hand. Trying the flying knee there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Hook to the body, blocked by Gainbrick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Masvidal gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Adesanya's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of... Oh! Oh! Look at the finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Just missed with the left there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Educated jab there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. But not even just a jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on the strike. He's just letting it flow. Jorge Masvidal is a very educated boxer and it shows him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Nice stick with the right hand. Let's go. Set up that tape. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Game Greg gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. 15 seconds. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? He's trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
All right, DC, here we go with the start of our second round. Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And on the other side, Israel. Oh, first bad He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, so the title fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch this punch like this puts a smile on my face. 69 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sign. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Jorge Masvidal. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a tricky head kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Dread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background. Saw's referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Adesanya's knee to the body. That one was blocked. Nice stick with the right hand. Looping with the oh! Strikes here in the second round, no denying. Oh. oh! Look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Game Greg gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Switching stances here. Beautiful strike. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fire. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and improvise. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's has unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, big left. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful oh. shot to the body. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That landed clean. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh. And he's back up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening, 
and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last style bender, Alessandra. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.